Yeah, they just added Symmetra Deathwing skin. It's like, uh, you know, he's starting to filter through the fabric of reality everywhere before there's ever even any hint that he might be a thing. Already posted to Reddit. Reddit already complaining about <laughs> Hamfish Jones. Why would people complain about Deathwing even if it's Reddit? I think Anna will see almost no play in competitive. I'd love to be wrong, but I think not. And it's because she has no wave clear. On the other hand, people in competitive are better at wave clearing without, you know, a full wave clear team. Because everyone that's supposed to clear actually does it. So, I don't know. Ah, bans. Warhead Junction. Uh, I'll ban Genji. Hey guys. Looking to play some of this girl. Not the best map for KT. Let's buy. By the way. Wanna reconsider or... And I don't think Zagara works out the best either against Falstad. I kind of like, we can run Valaptas plus sub. It's a great three man. I stand ready. Mecha Tassadar, online! Then plus one tank, the plus throw. one sup from now, and plus one miscellaneous, can be DPS. I just hope I will not disappoint on Tassadar, because I've had some bad luck on Tass, but I think it's good draft-wise. How do you like this map? I mean... Warhead! Oh, oh no, they took Sigara! I should've... Anyway, we can punish Sigara with a good I three man. Still love your Yo, thanks, man. Keep it up uh, milady. Then. Thanks, milady, Sylvanas. Uh, oh, let, let me ban first. Jush, thanks for the reset, bruh. Yeah, I, I mean, I prefer Warhead Junction to Blackheart's Bay, for sure. It's actually kind of fun these days, Warhead. But uh, I think it's a little bit too draft-dependent sometimes. <laughs> Is there any tanks with boss control? Have any tanks with boss control material? Oh, you don't, don't come for it. Yeah. Reckoning is at hand. I mean, that's some pretty nice English. You don't comfort him. It's okay, material. You have boss control. It's all right. It's all right, interloper. We all make mistakes. Wait is over. 
Lily Cassia. Wow. Okay. So, so I think our lane, our lane setup is like. I think our lane setup is uh, Tyrael so solo grey mains. Actually, there's many ways we can do it. Uh, you know, at first I thought Tas Vala Brightwing, but we could also do Tyrael Vala Brightwing. Grey main should match Sagara, and they will probably la run a noob. Cassia, Lily in another lane. So, fa no, wait. Yeah, maybe Falstad will be a solo. Or Anubarak will be a solo. They could do triple range solo, Zigara solo, and, and uh, Anub solo. It's hard to know exactly how. They could also, like, I cheese and then Falstad fly to top. Hi, Grubby. Hey. Why are people so negative against <laughs> Low win rate, bottom so of the pack. If I even pre pick him. He's my second best hero. I mean, he's the kind of hero that you can play completely selfishly and you will just say to your team, screw it, I'm going to push the map and I don't care how you play, how you suffer, whatever. Uh, he has a really low win rate. Probably if you mained another hero, you'll do better unless you have like low APM or something. One. The thing is, you will always have 50% win rate uh, if you play only one hero, except if you're top GM or bottom bronze. I'm gonna go side storm quest. Yeah, we should have pre split. Like, come on. See, fast they cheese and then fast that fly, I, I, and Zagara will get free rain for a while. This is why we should be pre-split. We near DPS. All right, I'll go then. It's all good. It's all right, interloper. We all make mistakes. We could have done so much better if we just lane right away. Properly. There was no need to get a tower like this. But it's fine. That was not a good move by him. I have shield. If it's like uh, in between shield cooldown, it's whatever. Wonder why he went like that. Target is going down. No. Assigning warheads for deployment. Uh, they should play it slow. They have a they have a slow release support in Brightwing. You know. Engaging thrusters. Hostile force identified. Warheads available for collection now. Show me my enemy. Choose Lincoln's a talent. I will get. Um, if you go for the extra movement speed, it has overlap with pixie dust. Armor is probably better. I could also do uh, extra life steal. But I'll get the armor. Oh my god. Movement confirmed. I'm going to pull back for now. They got both of the nukes. Warhead collection completed. I 
I need to give some more heals. Get the globe. Do you like globes? I wish he ports it and did the bruiser, but there we go. Uh, so we're all top actually. He could have killed me, maybe. Well, he's nearly dead. Oh, good. Sonic projection. Oh, nice stuff. Good stuff. So we're all here. <laughs> and the Nubra Kitchen. That's fine. I'm gonna go bot. <clears throat> and we did the bruiser. That's so funny. Five top. I mean, Anubrak is pushing pretty hard, so, like, good to him, you know? Capture this mercenary camp. Engaging thrusters. Commencing bombardment. Too far forward. Launchers prime. Determining flight plan. We're getting some pretty good camps value. Uh Gonna go mid for a bit, join up with Vala, maybe get some nice poke damage from Falstaff. I did just leave bot, which is kind of a weird move, but... Yeah, I'll try to let Vala capture. Understood. Target is going down. Enemy new launch. Oh, yes, sir. close. I think this game I go Archon. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. We're almost level up. Maybe I should have gone forceful considering they have uh, so many blinds. But it was a it was a quick quick adaptation. We did get two of the nukes. Yeah, I should have gone wall. Maybe for boss control as well. Actually, I think they're doing boss. Are they? They could be. Yeah, I was thinking about them doing it. Yes, sir. We can go. Our force has been destroyed. Nice sanct, I guess. Nice. Oh no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah, no gust yet. Mm, yeah, I think that works. Damn, even right after she cast ult. Especially right after she cast ult. Wow, look at that damage. Freaking locust. I hit that. Oops. Wrong button. Yes, sir. 
Ah, oh, they did top boss. Okay, I see. So, that's smart by them. Determining flight plan. Strike for the heart. Warhead deployment beginning. Prepare for collection. That's a really unfortunate time to have nukes when their boss is still pushing with freaking putrid bile. But having one defender against the warhead boss is so important. It does so much less DPS on the buildings. Plus, of course, I have shield, right? Yeah, time to leave. What do I get here? Nullification, pretty nice. I could have got top nuke as well, but I would give up much structural integrity. Uh, I have so much damage, I'm so impressed with my character right now. Thanks, Greyman. Put your name to shame. Cover up. So we're still a little bit down on XP. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I was going top XP, but they're pushing mid for it. Like, totally not an okay decision, right? No. Always defend pressure first before doing, like, random generic laning stuff. Interesting engage. Couldn't punish him though, because we don't have a traditional tank. We have positive map pressure, so it's kind of okay to keep pushing. We have good sustain. I mean, so do they. Uh, we should grab vision though, while we have mid control. Just getting vision. Careful, careful. We should still finish the fort, though. Health increase detected. The savage blow. Good. Cigar is top. Sir, initiating celebration sovereignty. Yay! That was not needed. I like that Brightwing is splitting off. I was kind of trying to find a way to you know break the uh the monotony of the engagement the stalemate and that's definitely the solution since he's got global and while they get a bruiser we get a whole fort that's massive Okay, good. Let's pull back. We used much. Jeez. Cassia. No, Cassia. No, no, I used all my mana. Oh my god. So, the reason this all happened is because Vala overstayed. And now we have a 4 for 2. Um, so, because Vala overstayed, we actually... Well, yeah, nice that he got one more kill, but it's because he got bro charged. That's why we all had to stay. We were very depleted. And we had a lot of pressure pressure against us on the map. And it's right before the nukes. So it's definitely in no way or shape good. Keep lost. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, 
We were so ready to return. Um, at this point, we have to deal with the bottom nukes here. Going for the nuke. I guess they do still have Mighty Gus, right? I guess... Yeah. We have Holy Ground and Sanct, so... They're probably Work doing top complete. boss, and that's gonna kill our top keep, so this is not even really a good trade. But what can we do? We probably just need to base race. the base race that's probably not a good nuke but I don't want to get gusted before I use it ah, see ya Cassia <laughs> Core, hit core, hit core, 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 core. Core, core. They didn't nuke. Like, they didn't defensively nuke. It's crazy. We're gonna win the game now. The You've learned well. Nice, 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 nice. MVP. Ah, uh, yeah. So because we were so behind on the map, it was such a godsend that we get the boss as they got the other boss. We sh absolutely shouldn't defend because they will outpush us with Zigara. And uh, we were already down in keeps. So it was such a... Like, here, go ahead. Take the 50-50 because... Reasons. Uh, I know that they had one dead, but... We basically got granted a 50-50, boss versus boss, core versus core. Uh, even though the map was behind for us, 35-65. Or worse, 30-70. And of course you take the 50-50 then. Not only that, we got the boss earlier. So our win chances were 60-40 out of a trading play. But they were 30-70 if we wait, sit back, defend and play passive. So the, bo the core call was very necessary to get the best possible odds in the game. And then it worked out really well because they underestimated the core all-in that we did. So they didn't even use nukes. They were holding on to nukes and didn't use it to nuke the boss. A very key play that they should have done. Um, and then really good sanctification. Five man sanct. Of course, we are clustering together because we have uh, double support and sanct. And so that's very nice. And one more thing I want to say is that when you're against Brightwing and Tyrael, well, first of all, when you have Tyrael and Brightwing, you need to cluster together for both Sanks and Brightwing heals. And what that means is that in order to damage that effectively, you want to have things that punish, things that group close together. Bro charge, definitely a thing with Epicenter. Uh, which uh, he has. Um, Cassia's Fend, Cassia's Surge of Light, Boomerang, Vigara's Devouring Maw or Bile Drop. He has Nidus, makes sense on the map. All does punish people close together, but not as much as you possibly could. For example, Horrify, Kalthas Flame Strike, and Kalthas' uh, Chain Bomb. Punish groups even more than the things that they have. So, in the end, grouping together was made really easy for us. It was uh, it was the correct play for us with very little counterplay. And so we just stay in a cluster. And then the Sanct was really good. 
And one more thing, when Cassia jumped in, of course she got messed up because uh, she has Leech, Ring of the Leech. She can deal damage from blinded uh, damage, like blinded target damage. Synergized as well with Lily, but Sanct removes all of that. Um, and so, uh, friend. also, I love the new stream start time. <laughs> also, you and Dunk keep being the best hot streamers out there. Good job. Thank you very much, uh, Omit18. Uh, the final thing is that even as Cassia moved in, if there were not a sanctification, I also happened to use nullification on him. So he was going to deal uh, a quarter of the damage with Surge of Light, whatever, whatever, whatever he casts. So either way, Cassia was very countered in that fight. Shouldn't that have been an Emerald Wind game, or is it not worth picking? So, if you actually look at most of the fights and skirmishes, we got a lot of heal from... Em Excuse me, from Blink Heal. We were lucky that we never had to contest boss 5v5 equal levels with them, because they have more tools, Cocoon and Gust. We generally took boss after Gust was not available or Falstad was dead. So, Emerald Wind, this game, would have been almost a dead pick. Yeah, you can push Anubarak, maybe Cassia, but the other three should be unaffected. And it only gives 5% bonus passive heal nowadays. It just got nerfed, Mwind. Blink heal. Got buffed recently, 1 second CDR. 9 instead of 10. Uh, it is your only targeted heal. We are a sustained comp, we need the heal. And uh, if you look at the fights, Blink heal actually saved himself and allies a lot this game. You suffer from jet lag, glad you're back. Yeah, I'm so jet lagged. You know the time that I'm waking up these days, Maxit? Greetings, friend. 8 a.m. And I'm going to sleep at midnight. So jet lagged. Super un unnatural and abnormal for me. Did you skip Forceful because you didn't want overlap with Tyrael's Holy Ground? No, I took uh, Archon because we were in a fight. To the death. And I was like, I need some firepower Greetings, had i stopped friend. to think about it i would say okay they have cassia and lily they both blind archon is probably not a good idea secondarily cocoon counters archon thirdly if someone else gets cocooned i want tassadar's rapid attack to break it open instead of archon so i would say that was definitely a force wall game you are not ah! prepared Oh my god. <laughs> 